This lesson is on solving equations with variables on both sides. And its essential question is how do you solve equations with variables on both sides? To do this, we need to know what an identity is. And an identity is an equation that is always true, no matter what value you substitute for the variable. An example would be 5x is equal to 5x but it is not 2x is equal to 3 or 2 is equal to 1. These will not always be true or are always false. So to look at an example, we look at this first problem, and this is a given statement. To get rid of decimals, we're going to multiply the entire equation by the number 100, which is the multiplication property of equality. By equally distributing out this 100, our new equation is 550x plus 3,460 is equal to 425x plus 6,460. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move the small x by subtracting 425x from both sides. This is using the subtraction property of equality. Our new equation is 125x plus 3,460 is equal to 6,460. This is going to be our first step. We are always going to move the small x away. By moving the small x, we have isolated a variable onto one side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move 3,460 to the other side by subtracting it from both sides. We're using the subtraction property of equality, and our new equation is going to be 125x is equal to 3,000. We're going to make this our step two, which is to always move away from the x. Once we have only one variable, we want to leave it in place. That was the reason for moving the small one first, to try and always have a positive variable. Now that we have 125x is equal to 3,000, we're going to divide both sides by 125. This is an inverse property of multiplication, where we had 125 times x. So we're using the division property of equality. This is our step three. What we're looking to do is to always do the inverse operation away from x. So we're inversing away from x. That gave us our answer of x is equal to 24. Knowing that x is equal to 24 is not in itself good enough. We need to always be willing to check our work. Simply substitute 24 into the original equation everywhere that x is, and you can see that it should still work. If it does not work, then it is not true, and the answer is incorrect. So we always want to check our work.